for another video showcasing the Veer Cruiser. So today we're going to talk about the rest of the attachments that we have for the Veer Cruiser. So if you missed our first video, we talked about the Cruiser itself and some of the infant attachments. Go check that out if you're interested in that. But today we're going to focus on some additional attachments that we've purchased. And then I'll talk to you a little bit about some of the things that they've come out with that we don't currently own. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we've got for today and how much they, they cost. So we've got the uh, foldable storage basket. This is something we mentioned in our first video that we highly recommend. I think it's one of, um, one of the neatest attachments that they've got because this thing will hold just about everything you see here kind of in the one little basket. The couple of things that it won't hold, they can attach to the wagon. I'll show you that a little bit as well. So this kind of sets you up for being able to have a full kitted out wagon and ready to rock and roll without having to put stuff in the wagon or carry things separately. This thing retails for $59 and again, highly recommended. Some of the smaller things, we've got, we've got two visors. Uh, they're for the retractable canopies to add a little bit of additional shade. They're $19 a piece. We'll show you how those zip in and kind of what they provide that extra bit of shade for. The next step, we talked about this in the first video, we bought an extra set of cup holders, they're $19. We're not going to really talk about these today, we talked about them in our first video, so if you're interested, check them out. <clears throat> next up, we've got the weather cover. So this provides a basically like a rain fly for your wagon. It has two different setups, one for, uh, you have both canopies set up to cover the entire wagon. You've just got one canopy, one kid. It's got a uh, setup where it's got a kind of a slant to have just one kid in it as well. So we'll show you that. This guy retails for $49. And then the two retractable canopies. So we're going to cover these not in very great detail. Again, it was in our first video. We went into detail about these, but we are going to talk a little bit about them. Uh, one thing I'll note again was if you're buying a colored canopy, you do not need to buy the standard canopy. Just buy the colored canopy. It's the full canopy. <clears throat> it's not a cover that replaces something on these. But these guys do retail for $49 a piece. We went ahead and picked up two of them. I'll get back to this here just a second. This is the toddler comfort seat. This retails for $79. This adds a little bit of extra padding and cushion for your toddler inside of the seats. In our first video, we talked a little bit about it. They're um, not the most comfortable seats. They're hard plastic with a vintage plastic back. So this adds a big cushion to it. We'll show you how to install this and how to set it up and a little bit of cushion. And then uh, it does have a harness attached to it as well. So it keeps your kids safe. The next thing, this doesn't go onto the wagon or attached to the wagon, but this is really neat. This is their base kit. It retails for $179. Basically, it is a uh, one-hand pop-up tent that you can use for going out on the beach, hanging out camping. Maybe you can put the little one in so that they're somewhere safe and secure, but they can still hang out. It's got, <clears throat> it's got screens all the way around, so it's really, really well ventilated. It also has a weather cover that will cover it in case you've got inclement weather or just some sun that you want to protect them from. We'll show you that. Now, last but not least, this is the air pad. This retails for $79. This is a, this complements the base camp. This basically is a ground pad for the base camp. It adds a little bit extra cushion underneath it, and it works a lot like your ground pads you do for camping. So if you've gone camping and you use the air inflatable ground pad, this is very much the same thing. It just fits perfectly with this. Now with that, I'm going to clear out our workspace, we're going to bring everything up, and then we're going to dive right on in. Okay, so we kind of forgot to add in the things we didn't buy, so we're going to slip this into the video somewhere, so if it's a little awkward, I apologize for that, completely spaced on that while we were recording. But a couple of things we didn't buy was the travel bag. That retails for $79, that allows you to pack the wagon up, it's got a couple of um, hard pieces in some certain locations you can put the it's got a pocket for the front wheels to go in and then it works it uses the back wheels a lot like your typical roller bag so you can it's got a handle on it you can grab it and roll it using the back wheels 
and it's TSA approved, I believe, so it can get checked as is when it's packed up in that bag. It's really, it's a really nice bag. We just don't travel that much, so we didn't really see the need for getting that travel bag. The other thing we looked at that we actually may still buy are their uh, blankets that they have. So it's anywhere from 99 to 129, and I believe that's child to adult. And the reason we didn't get them is, you know, it's a million degrees where we're at right now, and we're headed into summer, and it's going to be really really hot and so we didn't really see a need for grabbing another blanket we've got plenty of little blankets here and there that we throw on the ground for him to roll around on we also have the base camp that you see in the video for him to play on as well so once winter hits we may look at getting the blanket they've got some cool features to them they've got pockets on the inside so you can hold them closed they're really neat looking blankets like i said more than likely we're going to end up picking them up as well one thing they came out with after we purchased everything, so it's really, uh, I think a new release that just came out with it is this misting fan. Haven't done a ton of research on it. It retails for $49. I want to look into it a little more. It seems a bit expensive for just a misting fan, but it does fit into their cup holders and it's got a battery pack. So it's a rechargeable battery in the fan as well. I think it's like two and a half liter reservoir as well. So it's a it's a neat feature. I, I'm worried the price is just gonna be way too much for what it is, but there's a chance that we'll end up getting one and do a review on it and let y'all know what we think. So just wanted to add that in. Those are the couple of items we didn't purchase and don't have to showcase or review. All right, so now that we've got that all set up, we're gonna show you the foldable storage bin first. Again, I can't recommend this guy enough. But as we go through things, I'll show you, we can we put all these things into it. It's got tons of storage space and it, and it just really is a great product. So in, this is the foldable storage bin. It's pretty simple, not much to it. It's, uh, it rotates really nicely for the, on the back or when you fold up the wagon, it folds up with it as well. And then it has this mesh top to it so you can see it has a little bit of extension so you can over stack and still zip things inside of it let me show you how to install this really quickly on the back of the wagon we've got these two pegs right here underneath there i'm gonna pop these out real quick it's just you push these in and they pop right on out really simple really easy just about everything on this wagon is 100 percent toolless so when installing this, what I've found is it's kind of best to, to rotate these up and then they just slide on in and that folds in. Now to get this off, it's really simple, very much the same, same way. You see the pin up top that's still exposed. You push that in, that'll release this to allow it to come out. So last time we talked about the nap system. I'm going to grab that really quickly. The nap system is this big bag. Again, if you want to see specifics on this, check out our first video. But this guy fits in here as well. This is one of the bigger kind of attachments. And that fits right on in there. So I'm going to put that in there just because, again, this is one of those things that we carry around all the time. So you can see that we can pack just about everything in. Next, we're gonna cover the toddler seat. So we're gonna cover this and we're gonna put this out of the way. Our little guy is still really too young for this, but we went ahead and purchased it while we were kind of buying everything so we can show it off and showcase it. You can see right inside of here, it has got a multi-point harness. It's a five-point harness. It's got little pads for the shoulder straps and then uh, it, all, it all sets into the seat itself. So this is all self-contained. And it's got a lot of really good padding here. So lots of good cushion. And then you can adjust it for uh, if your kid's really tall or long. So we've got this lip on the bottom. That is going to install into the front of the seat in the wagon. So right in here, you've got this lip. And these two are going to meet up. And then on the back, you've got a loop that we're going to come around to the seat release. And then we're just gonna dress the two sides so that they fold over the wagon. And then on the back, might be, might be hard to see in the video, 
But there is a, uh, I'll show you when we take this off. It'll be a little bit easier to see. There's a Velcro, Velcro strap comes in that's behind the seat. And this is what holds the seat in. Just simply pull that tight. And that holds the seat securely onto the wagon itself. And now you're all set up. Really, really simple. To take it off, it's basically the reverse. Undo the Velcro strap. Undo the uh, uh, band from the seat release. And you just pull it up and out. It comes right on off. Really simple, really easy. Uh, if, if, it's, if you absolutely wanted to, you could get this to fit in here. With everything else, it'll be it's a little bulky, so it'll be a little much. But uh, this is kind of one of those things. Once it's installed, and you've got your toddler. You're probably going to leave it installed. It's not really going anywhere. So next, I'm going to set these canopies up really quickly. Again, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about the canopies. Check out our first video if you've got questions or you want to see these set up in greater detail. But I'm going to pop these on really quickly. So, you can see with the dual canopy set up, they don't quite meet in the middle. You got this little bit of a gap that you really can't, uh, you don't get full shade. And this is where the visors come into play. So I'm going to zip these guys in. So one thing I want to note, they come pre-curled, right? You've got to go the opposite for the for this one on this side. You need to go the opposite and it zips in. So it's going to feel a little unnatural the first time because you're, you're kind of fighting against the, the natural um, fold that this has had for so long in the packaging. So just keep that in mind. It's a little... Um, a little bit of a brain tease, if you will, whenever you're first kind of fighting with it. But just, that's a, a tip, is you may have to reverse it from the spiral that it's in. So once these are up, you can see they now meet in the middle. So it just provides a little bit of extra shade. Uh, and just, you know, that's really kind of it. There's not a lot to them. They're simple. It just, it's just that little bit of extra. That's all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out because I will need the zipper for the weather cover and then we're gonna dive into the weather cover really quickly. Alright, so with both of these out, we can simply roll them back up. We're gonna stick them back here in our storage bin. Now the next piece, this is the weather cover. It's kind of comes in this really, really nice compact bag. I will say we've taken these out once already and I didn't pay attention to how they were folded up the first time. So please take note of how they're folded up. Whenever you get them out, they fit better. We uh, have, have now been struggling to get these back in comfortably. But everything that comes in here, so you're gonna have this, this kind of just white or clear piece. This is so that we can do the one or the one kid attachment for the weather cover. I'll pull out the big weather cover here in a second, but this is also the storage bin cover. So with our storage bin, we don't want any of this stuff to get wet either. And they've thought of everything. So now, big cover. This guy unfolds. And what you're gonna be looking for Specifically are these two magnets that make up this little hole. That's going to secure around your handle. So we want to make sure that that goes front 
And what I found is just simply to grab, grab one side and we're going to drape it over. Now to do the full setup, you will need two canopies. And then on the front, we're going to undo the two pieces of the magnet and put them back in. That will secure it around here. And then I'm going to show you this on this side. These are going to clip into the, the little foot tray. And then the rear one. This one on the back here. This guy clips into the rear axle of the wagon. So same thing on the other side. I'm going to do that up really quickly. Now we're in full weather mode. So... <clears throat> If you, if you want to take and get, let's say, hey, it starts raining, we get this set up, kids are now nice and, nice and dry, but it stops raining. Well, we don't want to take this whole thing off and fight with it and do all of that. It's got a zipper on the back side. This will, you can just simply do kind of a half unzip and we can fold this back get a little bit of air back in there you can also take this all the way off this can come entirely off and the reason for that is because that's also how the single kid install goes for the weather cover. So with that, we'll need to take off the retractable canopy on this side. I'm going to grab this other piece that we had in storage. Again, just underneath the, the Velcro flap, there's a piece that there's a zipper. This just zips right on in. And that Velcro strap is just there to protect the uh, zipper from getting rusted and getting wet protects that seam that's there All right, so now we've got the one kid set up. So obviously the kid other one would need to be sitting on that side. We'll have to have the canopy on this side because the cover is designed to only go one way because of where this uh, hole is for the handle. But the great thing is you can look inside. You can now see the kid really clearly. It's very easy to see them through the full plastic and they have the ability to see out a lot better than having that second canopy up. They're kind of really just in there uh, when, when you have two kids, I guess they can interact with each other, but with just one, it seems like they're kind of in this little confined space. So that's, that's the weather cover. To take it off is really, really simple. I'm going to put the other piece back on really quickly and then pack this back up. All right, so I got the other side back on. I'm just going to go through taking this off really quickly. It's really simple. It's very much the exact same way you did last time. I take... I take this off first and then I basically walk around the wagon, take off the clips that we showed you. Don't forget about the two underneath the, the wagon that are clipped to the axle. And then you simply just pull this off. Now you'll have the generally you'll have that other canopy on and you know you'll need to fight with that a little bit as well, but this just comes off. And folds up in some way, shape, or form to go back into that little tiny bag. I'm not going to show you that on camera because 
I'm gonna fight with it to get it back in. Let's just be honest. But, all said and done, this packs back down into this little bag, and obviously this little bag will very easily fit back here. One of the other things I wanna show while it's in here, as we can see, we've got lots and lots of room to keep stacking. So let's put some random, random stuff in there and you can just kind of see that, I'm trying to do this light so that it's big and bulky, right? And then this guy zips up so it stays secure and you can see you've got quite a bit of space. Let's see if you can get that all the way up there. You got quite a bit of space back here. So this thing is really neat. You know, if uh, if the wife's with you or uh, you've got a purse, you can put that back here. You can store it. Again, we've got that weather cover so it'll keep it nice and dry. So the last two things we're going to talk about do not go like specifically on a wagon. And that's the base camp and the air pad. But before we get rid of the wagon, I want to show you something that's really, really neat about this. Remember I was telling you that basically can store everything that you can throw at it. And a couple of things that Veer doesn't, that can't fit in that storage bin, that Veer has thought that through. So this guy could probably fit in there if you don't have a whole lot in there, but it's pretty big and bulky. This is the air pad. It has these two hooks on the side of it. And these are designed to hook onto the side of the frame. And they're, they're a perfect fit for this. I mean, they're designed to go together. So you can have this on one side, and then you've got the actual base camp itself, same style hooks. Then you can have this on the other side. So now you're set up. Your wagon is fully ready to go. We put this on the other side, hook it in, and we're ready to hit the beach and go hang out. So I'm gonna take a second, we're gonna move some stuff out of the way, and then I'm gonna show you the base camp and the air pad. All right, so we're back. We've got the air pad and the base camp. I'm gonna quickly show you what's in the bag, and then we're gonna set these guys up. So the air pad is just the air pad. There's not much in here. It comes rolled up. Uh, I'll say again, maybe it's just me. I'm not really good. This took me two tries to get it back in the bag. The only recommendation I could make to them is making this a little bit bigger. It uh, it is a snug fit. Even even after the second time I, I forced it in there, it was still pretty snug fit. So a little bit bigger bag would be nice, just to make it easy, especially if you're trying to get it get out. Um, you know trying to get out of somewhere quick and roll it back up very fast you don't have time to get all of the air back out of it so obviously it's the air pad it has air in it that's what provides the cushion this uh valve here is how you get the air in and out so this top piece is going to open up let me show you the bottom piece first so you open the whole piece up this allows you to drain out the air with that still closed, you have this top piece that opens up, and this has a one-way valve in it that's only going to allow air in to the air pad. So this is how you can fill this up. It'll automatically, so because we've basically created a vacuum in here with sucking all the air out, this is going to naturally draw air in and fill up the air pad. So let's roll this bad boy out. So what you'll notice is it's not a perfectly even shape. We've got kind of this elongated side on one side. This is the this is going to be the front of the tent. This is where the the opening is going to be. So. I'm going to go ahead and pop open my one-way valve, let some air start coming in while we set up and talk about the actual base camp. So what's in the base camp bag? Inside the top of the bag, we've got another little drawstring and a little closed off area. We have the rain fly. 
And then we've got these little bags with hooks on them. So these you can set up, you can hook on to anchor points on the either the air pad or the base camp and then fill these guys with sand or dirt to, to create an anchor. So basically they're sandbags and they'll create nice little anchors. This is a really cool, really nifty thought. Uh, I honestly would not have, have thought to provide these. This is really cool. Took us a second to figure out what they were. We had to look, at, look up the instructions and figure out what that was. And then inside of here, all right, so pretty tight fit as well. They provide you with a handle on the bottom. And you can just grab the top and pull this out. I mean, again, super well thought out. So what just fell out are our steaks. Comes in a nice bag. These are really nice, well sturdy, well designed aluminum steaks. So you've got a striking point on top if you need, and then a pull string to get them right back out. And like I said, good thick aluminum stakes. Great, great setup. Now, the base camp itself. You've got uh, one strap holding it all kind of together. So this guy simply comes off. I'm gonna grab the top of it. Folds on out, right? So we've got good, everything stretched out all you have to do is lift up and then push right back down and that'll, that'll lock that in place so now we're fully deployed we'll just we'll find our find our front yep yeah? and then i'm going to line up where basically our little shoes overlap with these metal pieces just to hold the air pad in underneath it so i'm not going to do that on all sides but you get the idea and then we can either drive an anchor into those or we can use the sandbags to add in the sand. So with this setup, we've got the door here that can be unzipped. And then we can fold it back. It's got straps at the top and the bottom to secure it open. Just like your typical tent would. And then on the inside here, maybe a little tough to see, but we've got two little pockets here where you can store stuff. You got the pockets on the outside as well, so you can store a couple of things here. And it's a pretty decent size. I mean, you know, I'm a full grown adult and it's a, it's a fairly good space for the kids to play in. Now we're gonna go ahead and set up the rain fly and I'll show you that really quick. So for this, it's, it's got a front as well. You're looking for the where all the stitching meets. That'll be your, your top. And then the short side of that, so you'll see we've got our point and then we've got the short side is where the front, the front door is. And then we've got this elastic that'll go around our little T. This will secure the front. And then around the back, you've just got your normal hooks that's going to hook down to the bottom. There we go. So again, we'll provide, it'll provide some shade, it'll provide protection if it starts raining, and it's really nice because you aren't fighting with an extra flap to get in and out of the door. Now, if the rain obviously is coming at you, that'll be a bit of a problem. If you've got everything anchored in, you'll have to rotate the tent. So, you know, it's, it's kind of just one of those things, but it is a great setup for it, like your little sunshade at the beach. So I'm gonna show you how to take this down really quickly. 
to pull these off, undo the back straps or the back hooks. I'm not gonna fold anything up or put anything back on camera. Again, you just gotta work through it. Try to remember how things came out of the packaging. <clears throat> the uh, the actual base camp itself goes back together a whole lot easier than the air pad. So once you're set back up, I'm gonna make sure we're not connected to anything. You'll see these two yellow bars that are here. This is really really easy to take back down. So you're just going to grab, just like I am, we're going to pull up on the yellow bars towards the top. That'll release the tent. And then I'm going to just basically fold everything in. So you see I grabbed everything, we folded it all in, push it back down. And all I'm going to do is pick up the piece, the each corner, and bring the corners to you. Once you've got all the corners, you just gotta look right, look at your strap. And we're done. So this is really simple, really nice, easy to set up, easy to tear down, provides some great shade, great protection while you're out at the beach, out camping, anything like that. To take this down, again, we've got this one one-way valve set up that's currently letting air in. We're gonna close that off, and then I'm gonna open up the big valve to allow air out. So what I've done a couple of times, uh, I ended up just trying to roll it once, get a bunch of air out, See how much we can get out of it. That'll let a bunch of air out. Then we're gonna fold this back up the way it came. And then as you roll this up, make sure you leave this open. That'll allow the rest of the air out. Now, one thing I'll say here is this does not roll up really, easy, really, really easily. And so I forgot these last time. It comes with two straps to help hold this in place. And then just try to get as tight of a roll as you can. Let's see. We'll, we'll give it a roll. And you can see we're, we're starting to bunch up. And this is where it starts to get really difficult. Because you've got to try to get this bunch out of it as best you can. So you don't end up with a big mess on the other end. Close it so we don't let any air back in. And then we've got the straps that we you saw me take off the first time.
let's see. Y'all know that we're going to get back in here real easily. Maybe. Now you can just see it's kind of, it's a, still a super tight fit. Um, some of that is working it in, some of that's working the rest of the air out. A lot of it's getting getting all of the air out, which is just really the tough part. And if you're in a rush and trying to get out of somewhere really fast, that's that's going to be the hard part. So I actually got it back in. I'm really impressed. <laughs> I'm shocked I got it back in on the first try. I thought for sure I was going to spend, you know, the next 20 minutes after the video working on getting this back in. This guy packs in really easily. Oh, also, just a note, inside the bag, the first time you uh, you pull this out, you're going to have this strap that's going to be inside the bag. And you've got the two D-rings that you can connect this to. There we go. So that's back in. Now these and the stakes. The stakes go just right back inside with the with the tent itself. <clears throat> and then you get the weather cover and the sandbags go back in the top and it all zips back up together. All right, that's all that we have for today. The next piece that we're gonna introduce is some more baby gear in the next video. It does include some more cruiser stuff with some limited edition side panels, so please join us for that. If you like the video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing much more of these with more, <clears throat> more baby stuff, more things that we found, some, some things that we kind of figured out along the way, things that we like that we don't like, things that made sense, stuff that was just like, eh, it's neat, it's kooky, but really, what's the point? So join us for those, and again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.